Hello everyone, welcome again with another new chapter of NCRT Science for Class 6. The chapter is chapter number 8 and the name of the chapter is Body Movement. See, we see different animals, including us, moving in their own way in different forms, right? So some of the animals walk, some run, some fly, then some crawl, some creep, then some slither, isn't it? So we see different types of animals moving differently. Not all the animals move in the same way, right? Say for example, cow, they walk. Then what about the bird? They fly. You see a snake, they slither or either they crawl. Then frog, they jump, right? And what about the fish? They swim. So there are different forms in which different animals move. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about the different ways how animals move and the different organs which help them in the movement. So also we are going to learn about the different types of joints present in our human body and how they are differentiated. Okay? And we are going to learn about the movement of some animals like the earthworm, the snake, the cockroach, the fish and the movement of different other animals. Okay? So we will find this chapter very interesting knowing about the gates of different animals and how they use the different parts of their body for movement. So we see that many of the different animals found on earth, they move in their own way, in a very different way. So some of the ways of movement we found in animals are walking, running, flying, creeping, jumping, crawling, slithering and then swimming. So these are only a few ways on how animals move from one place to another. Not only moving from one place to another, when we are about to do some any work or any activities, we move, right? We move. Say for example, while talking and speaking, we move. Some part of our body is moving, right? Say, when we sit absolutely still, say when we uh, sit still and find out the movement in our body, we will be thinking that we are still and that our body is not moving. No. Different parts of our body are moving though we sit still like your eyes they are blinking unknowingly they are blinking right your heart inside your body your heart is pumping right so in this way different organs inside our body are also moving though we cannot recognize them so before we move on to the ways how animals move let us first try to know about how human move. Got it? Before understanding the movement going on inside our body, let us learn how movement is possible by us. See, we have different organ system, right? The circulatory system, the excretory system, the digestive system the nervous system, the skeleton system, right? So all of them, they are performing different functions inside our body. And not a single organ in our body is at rest. They are all doing their own function. Got it? So now, the main organ which helps us in movement are actually the bones which is helping us in the, giving us shape and giving us support for movement 
along with muscle. Understand?